Good morning everyone, welcome back to the vlog. In today's episode, we are headed down to Manila to celebrate Joey's birthday. So, lots of activities within the day, but we are going to be loading the Defender and getting out of here. A few weeks ago, the Defender got hit on the door. Something fell from the roof and scratched the door. So we had to take off the wrap and repaint the door. I'm going to probably get this wrap within the week and send it back to Second Skin just so that we can get that PPF back on. A lot of you have been asking why I haven't done any videos on the Defender. We've just been so busy with the car builds but I promise we were going to have more content on the Defender in terms of reviewing the car and then maybe doing a wide body kit for the car or SUV. saying it's going to be your birthday party. Oh, you're not vlogging at this again, are you? <laughs> oh we gosh. are vlogging your birthday Why? party. Why? <laughs> Welcome back to the city. We are back in RWB Archangel and we're headed down to Hazard Boy so that we can get an alignment. So after the build for Archangel, we actually didn't align it so the tires in the back are severely towed in and the top mounts in front are knocking and if you guys haven't seen that video, please check it out somewhere here. Nice thing with the older cars, even if they've been on standby for seven days, no problem. Starts right up, no issues of battery draining. We do have to cut a part in the front there that's rubbing. And then somewhere along the way, we need to find out who we can pass by to get a sort of muffler delete because as much as the fast seat X5 with the sport cats sound good, it's a little too tame for my days. So I'm gonna do what they call a muffler delete, which is basically dropping the side cans and then just out piping straight from the X5. It's perfect for the turbo cars because the turbo cars are quiet under boost. And sometime about Wednesday this week, we're going to visit Second Skin so that we can fix the sticker because the sticker has been lifting. And I'm sure some of the corners of the wrap are also lifting that need to be sort of pressed back down and heat gun so that they can activate the adhesive. Oh, it's a bit loud. Let's see if we can do a sound check. That's it. Not much audio from this car. So the car is a bit squirmish because the alignment's so off, the toe is so severe, and I need to double check everything from the caster, camber, toe, and ride height. Hopefully Edward can actually do corner balancing for us, which means we're going to weigh myself, which is about 145, and then we're basically going to corner balance the coilovers in such a way that I'm accounted for in the car so that when we're driving the car, it's at, at a neutral balance where it's, yeah, I guess the cross weight is a bit technical, sorry. The cross weight of the car, it actually makes perfect balance where in the older cars, obviously we don't have a good distribution because the engine is in the back, but we're going to try to see how much balance we can get. Um, also, I did notice that the radio is acting up. I don't have speakers on this side. Absolutely love the speed from the 993 turbo engine, but the sound, the sound is really something we have to work on. And it's almost like the GT2 RS, if it doesn't have those straight pipes to the exhaust exit, it's not going to sound good. Mushing, wishing, like not much, not much there, right? I don't think Edward's here yet, but Mac knows we are here, so they have to clear a few cars out for us to get in. These tires are so slippery, when I crossed the pedestrian lane, I felt the tires slip. I 
I thought we were gonna do right height, but Kyle and the boys at Fitment pretty much set the right height that I wanted. We do have some rubbing that I see here. But once we fix the alignment and so we should be good. just got hit by lunch break and we are struggling now with the caster of the bar. Edward arrived and he noticed that the wheel in the right side was actually a little back and then the wheel on the left side was actually a little forward. So we're trying to figure out how to adjust the lower caster ball joint arm. Edward sent our turbo to the US and it's made a round trip now. So before he had a video where he sent it to me where he would use a wrench to move the, the wastegate flapper. So what happened is I think when we tipped this portion, it sort of pushed in the... Wait, actually not the flapper, no? I'm so curious, how did I get it? So we left it here. Interesting. Galing to? <laughs> or may debris na pumasok sa loob. Thank you so much to the team of Edward, Lester, and the alignment guy for sorting the car out. It feels so much better. Although the front top mounts are still knocking. Maybe we forgot to add the certain spacer in the front. I'll have to double check all that later on. But for now, just lucky that the car is driving much better. Steering wheel is straight. I have to be super careful because these tires are super slippery in this weather. The alignment is perfect, although my only complaint is the top mount. But I don't think it is the fault of Edward. I think we're missing something in the top mount to make it not as noisy. I will email Elephant Racing and ask them what's up. But basically, the car drives amazing. I'm almost at the condo, so I'm gonna cut this vlog and then I'll see you guys when we head out tonight. And we're super late. Uh, it's gonna be hard to test everyone if people are there already. So I decided to come down and pull the car out. I'm gonna change the seat configuration. No, honey. No. <laughs> she always vlogs my birthday. Why I'm not? Because it's... we have a special guest, although I don't think we can see her. <laughs> Where uh, is the light? You can. No cabin light. Oh, there. <laughs> <laughs>
beautiful, especially you, sweetheart. So coming here tonight on a rainy Monday with traffic means a lot to me. And one thing I was thinking of turning 48 is at first I was thinking, oh my goodness, 48, I'm near 50. Ah! But then I realized, wow, how blessed I am to be 48 and to feel so much love and be appreciated by so many friends and family. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> What I'm experiencing with all of you in this timeline is so valuable to me as in my being that all of you have made an impact and affected me and I am so grateful to be here in this world with all of you while we all can. But in my mugle jeans is the end of your vlog. Okay guys, we are going to end the vlog officially. We're just going to montage everything. See you guys again in the next video.